Pastoral Concert, painted by Giorgione in 1508. From 100 Masterpieces of Painting by John Lafarge. Giorgione, Big George, so called, says Vasari, not only from his physical size, but from the exaltation of his nature, painted once and for all an impossible ideal of a pastoral, making no pretense to the life of the fields, nor to a possible chance of being true to what might happen. In one of the beautiful breezy landscapes which he and his friend and rival, Titian of Cador, drew out of their memories of mountain country, he placed a number of young people in the make-believe of a musical interlude to some feudal feast in open country, in a sunshine which is true but does not burn, so that they have no need of shade. Two young men in splendid clothing sit on the grass. One of them tries with one hand a theme of music on the strings of a mandolin. One of their two women companions has stopped a flute for a moment to listen. She turns her back to us. She is almost entirely nude in contrast to the full dress of the youths before us, whose silks and satins add to the unreality. The other one has risen languidly, and dropping her clothing as she has moved, begins to draw water from some antique fountain under the trees. The painter has found in this imaginary choice a theme for his love of the beautiful glow of human flesh, which he first gave in the art of painting, and also for the pleasure of spreading out vast spaces ending in blue sea, in an atmosphere now first represented by the recent methods of painting. Not that before, and perhaps always, something of air and light and distance had been given in the many ways of painting, of which those of the Greek have disappeared. But here begins in the art of painting that steeping of the picture in a bath of light and dark, which we call chiaroscuro, which others had already much developed, but to which he and his Venetian successors gave the special glow of color by which we know them. Partly owing to the solemnity of this color, the glow of human flesh and deep red dresses against the greens and browns and purple blues of distance, partly from the combinations of the lines, a certain sadness comes to us from the painting. It is so serious that the theme of four young people with music and air and sunshine about them seems but to add a greater solemnity. The story of the painter's early death, the legend of the treason of friends, these memories come up in the presence of the dream of happy and thoughtless life.